नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन एन एग्जामिनेशन सेवन परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट स्कोर लेस देन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ मार्क्स एंड एटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट स्कोर लेस देन सिक्सटी परसेंट मार्क्स फाइंड द मीन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ द मार्क्स नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इट इज गिवन दैट हियर दे हैव गिवन द वैल्यू दैट इज पी ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू टू सिक्स थ्री इज नथिंग बट पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एंड पी ऑफ वन पॉइंट फोर सेवन फाइव सेवन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर थ्री यूजअली यू विल गेट अ वैल्यूज इन द एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो सो द सेम क्वेश्चन लेट म्यू एंड रो बी द मीन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन गिवन सो दे वॉट दे हैव गिवन इन एग्जामिनेशन सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट स्कोर लेस देन थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स मीन्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड दे विल स्कोर थर्टी फाइव सो डोंट कंसिडर दिस थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो यू हैव टू आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड दे हैव टेकन हाउ मच यर थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स सो दैट्स वाई इट इज पी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन थर्टी फाइव इज हाउ मच यर सेवन परसेंट विच इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन सिमिलरली सेकेंड कंटिन्यूशन so 89% of student score less than 60 marks that is 60% means 60 marks that is p of x less than 60 is nothing but 89% which is 0.89 so we got this is given data from the question now we know that z is given by x minus mu upon rho so we need we can we need to find the value of mu and rho now so we can fill the value of x as when x is equal to 35 from this Uh, it is uh, z is equal to 35 minus mu upon rho which is nothing but z1 and when x is equal to 60 so z will become 60 minus mu upon rho is equal to z2 same as how we have taken previous example now so we will apply this here so hence we can write this one as p of x less than uh, 35 is equal to 0.07 this can be written as what here instead of x it will be z instead of 35 it will become what here z1 similarly the same expression will get here also so using these two equations we need to simplify by p of z less than z1 how to uh, simplify here as 0.5 plus 5 of z1 is equal to 0.07 and uh, both are what here actually both results are uh, less than less than so therefore we will get 0.5 plus Phi of z2 is equal to 0.89. So we got the second expression. So shift this point phi to the right hand side and simplify. We will get phi of z1 is equal to minus 0.43. And similarly, the other part will become what here? Phi of z2 is equal to 0.39. But as per the question, they have given point uh, 39 is nothing but what here? Phi. So you can say now it is phi because I am using the symbol phi. But they have given in the question P. You can take it as phi also. So it is nothing but 1.2263. So in place of 0.39, here it is. 0.39 will be replaced as what here? Phi of 1.2263. And in place of 0.43, only this 0.43 will be replaced by phi of 1.4757. So phi phi cancel. Z1 value is nothing but 1.4757. And Z2 value is 1.226. Three, so this z1 and z2 we need to apply in the expression where we have taken z1 and z2. Apply, rearrange the expressions, so we'll get a two simultaneous equation in terms of mu and uh, standard deviation that is mu and rho. So using calculator, we'll get the answer, and this is the required mean and standard deviation of the given question. so like that we need to simplify and these kind of examples are more important for examination point of view in the normal distribution